TLO was popping. We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, even though I'm in Miami, you know what I'm saying? Speaking of Miami, I just came from a food festival. <laughs> so sorry if I got brisket or jerk chicken in my teeth or something like that. My badge or cheese and chicken empanada or whatever. Uh, literally, man, this is what dreams are made of. I just asked the world. I just asked the YouTube hierarchy. I just said this. Where is Nick O? That's how y'all told me to say it. Nico? 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 Nick? Nick? In Nike? Nick? Nico? 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 Anyway, man, I pranked America's most racist man. Oh, my God. Speaking of racism, I was just in a town called Plantation. And little, <laughs> little, this is Florida. Look it up. Plantation, Florida. And every house is built on like an acre or two. And I think it's just reparations. I, they might as well call it reparation town because that's what I just felt that it was. Like, if you want some reparations, like, come there and get you an acre or two. Literally, cotton fields used to be on there. All right. Y'all don't want to hear that. <laughs> and then when I was leaving, who was mowing the lawn? Somebody this color. This is America. He was this color. I'm this color. He was this color. I was like, wow. America's most racist man. And this is the story of how I found this man and tricked him into giving me an interview. But the craziest thing about all of this is that it was all an accident. Because originally I was traveling to Harrison, Arkansas because based off the videos I've seen online... Oh, that's where uh, Gideon just went. But it was a nice town. It was, I mean, it didn't went that way. It's America's most racist town. <laughs> And as I have a lot of history trolling racists, they're our streets. They're taking our roses. They're taking the lot. And they took it. Yeah, they did. I thought I was definitely qualified to go down there to see this town for myself and yeah. find out if it really is. Definitely, you're more than qualified. This hoodie is hard as hell. Hold on. Is this the uh, NDL hoodie? Go down there to see this. That's an NDL town for myself and find out if it really is racist. No cap, man. You might have got me with this hoodie. This is kind of hard. If you had this in red or blue, I want it. So I traveled from London all the way to Northwest Arkansas. We're here! Well, we're not here yet. We have to get a taxi. Hold on, I see something coming out of here. Hippie. Hippie as hell. You see that right there? You see that sleeve? And then we're gonna be there. And unfortunately, there were no taxis. So I had to try and hitchhike my way into getting someone to drive me all the way to Harrison, which is a two hour journey. You gotta go into Harrison? Yeah, Harrison, yeah. What's in Harrison for you guys? So basically, we hear it's the most racist town in America. Uh -huh. Oh yeah? Yeah. And that's why you came? Yeah, yeah that's, that's why I came so the whole way. I'm saying we get a road trip to Harrison. I really wanna take you. I have to catch a movie, but I'm... If I was there, bro, I would have took you. No cap. Pause. Like, no homo. Like, no homo sapienism. YouTube. No, you know, no riding. No D ride. But, like, I would have took you there, man. Pause. Let me see. What time's your movie? It's at 10. I, yeah, I think I can pull it off. You think? I can tell. You, you think you can pull it off? You think you can take a bar? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're not killers. We're not killers. First thing we have to do, we just have to prove that we're not killers. Here's the passports. <laughs> this is where I just get out the zip tie and uh, so, I choke you. No, no, funny. So, have you guys heard much about Harrison? They have like a KKK headquarters there. I saw the video on YouTube last year. Somebody like had Black Lives Matter sign, and people were telling him like, "Don't be here after dark." <laughs> oh my gosh. Once after dark. About ten minutes, I'm gonna be back. You better be gone. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, dang, they was going hard. 
I need to watch that video, man. That's that sounds like comedy in itself. Okay, so it's like that. And you feel like I should be nervous going? I've, I think I've seen worse in South Illinois. Like, I stopped to her gas going on a road trip in South Illinois, and I was like, we're not in Chicago anymore. Like, Chicago is the only spot where Chicago or Chicago land area is diverse. The rest of Illinois, can't call it. Uh, I would be a little more nervous. <laughs> Oh my gosh, George, what are we getting ourselves into? This was already sounding like a bad idea, and to make things worse, Nico Daniel told us a story about Nico, his friend who went to high school there. So your friend... He's black, right? He found a noose in his locker one time, and every day after school, he didn't stick around any longer than he needed to. He went straight to his mom's car and picked him up. God, man, what? For real, what are we getting ourselves into? <laughs> Why are you scared? You should be smiling right now. This is probably safer than England. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think we're pretty much here. This is, um, I believe to be Harrison. We're a couple minutes away from our hotel. And then uh, we're going to start exploring. Thank you so much. Anybody with the name Harrison is questionable. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I do want to give you some cash because obviously you drove us all the way down here. Hotel so, Civilian? Thank you so much. Here we go. <laughs> so I waved off our good friend Daniel and just like that, we had arrived in the most racist town in America. Even this looks racist. I don't know. It's something about the grid work. It's something about the layout of Harrison that just doesn't sit right with me. It's too many trees and I don't... Blood on the leaves. Breathe. I just, I don't. Mm -hmm. Time to go into this hotel. It is actually on the uh, National Register of Historic Places. So, uh, mental stuff's gone down here. Hello, how are you doing? And I'm Brenda. I'll be here until 11 tonight. Perfect. If you want torture, just come down and I'll torture you. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk again, Bri. <laughs> what kind of Brenda. Now, if a lift ever felt like a horror movie, it's this one. Here we go. Now, we just gotta go explore the town a little bit. Brenda, where's best for like nightlife here? Good luck. Don't just count the bed. You might head down to the square. Square? Off we go, into the darkness. Now this one, this feels scary. Wait, you moving different. Nobody went there during the night time. You, you know there at night? You light skinned it, but you're not white. Wait a minute. You're scared. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I wonder why, George. To be honest, going out late in a town that is seen as the most racist town in America alone I want to say after dark, man. Might be the stupidest thing I've ever done on this channel, and that is saying something. I presume this is the square, and this place is dead. And just like that, we stumbled <laughs> across our first local resident of Harrison, Arkansas. We're new to this place. We're just filming a documentary for the BBC. Okay. Where's it popping? Where's the knife life going on? No nightlife? No. Nothing? No, no. This is what we call the square. As you see, everything is absolutely closed right now. And it is what, like 9.30 on a Saturday? Yeah, it's crazy. You got any friends around here? Uh, we're actually playing uh, cards in the card shop right down there. Can we join you? Uh, let, me, let me go double check. Hey, there's a black man. That wants to play cars. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting us go. Sorry, what's your name? Oh, uh, Richard. Richard Nicholas. And Richard here had brought us into the land. It seems pretty nice. See, this is the second the time that I've seen nice. <laughs> oh. oh, big up. Let's play magic. So I just pick a card to play. I'm playing the command tower. What card has he played? This is Shipwreck Marsh. I'm just going to play my blood crypt. It's a land. <laughs> I'm going to play Evolving Wilds. We played a game called Magic the Game. I'm just going to play my blood crypt. It's a land. I'm going to. This is the only acceptable person that should be playing this car. I don't, what is this car game called? Magic? Play Evolving Wilds. We played a game called Magic the Gathering and I was claiming to be a pro, but honestly, I had never played it before in my life and I think it was obvious. Draw card. Yeah, no, okay, a draw card, got you. All right, so. Draw card. Yeah, draw card. No, from your deck. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. But then I became a prestige 1000 level wizard and earned all of my fellow magicians respect, which meant I could ask them to tell me the truth about this town. We were sent here on behalf of the BBC because we were told that Harrison is actually the most racist town 
in America. We get a lot of hate about Harrison being a racist but, town. It's not that everybody here is that way. It's just that there was a history in the past. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's like a white supremacy group or whatever. They're in another town. They just like to come here so people don't bother their town when they do it. So um, whereabouts are they? It's a place called uh, That sounds about right. I heard about Zinc. Zinc. I feel like I'm watching an episode of Ozark. Is this where Ozark was filmed? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm. Where's the girl with the curly hair that looks like Justin Timberlake? Like, what's going on? So these racist places, as a black person myself, it doesn't make sense for me to go to at all. No, it would what would they do if they saw me? Trust me, if you went there, you would not be welcome. The police too? No, not the police. The police will bother you because of your skin color? That's crazy. Mental. This was honestly a shocking start. The stuff they were telling me was so bad, it didn't sound like real life. And although these guys seem cool, I mean, I even took Richard's number. I still needed to dig deeper as that was just one group's opinion. So I went and found this bar to speak to a few more. Oh, there's a bar, nice. We've seen like reports online that this area is the most racist town in America. But actually they live in Zinc. Huh? They, they live, live in Zinc. Zinc? Yeah. So who is the racist in Zinc? Uh, I, I can't think of his name right now. I but can, but I won't say it. Yeah, yeah. What, 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 what's, what's the name? I oh, oh, you won't say it. He's got a little group together over in Zinc. I think it's a little church. So there, there's a mystery man in Zinc who is the leader of the racist group. Is it safe in Zinc? <laughs> no, there's some people that live. My bad, man. If y'all hear us, y'all can't hear that ceiling fan, but there might be a clicking noise. I don't hear it in my headphones right now, so we might be good. Would they like people like me? Don't think so. I oh, didn't on, know about it yeah. until maybe... Two years ago, I was... Does this racist group's name start with a clue and end up with a clan? Done by it. And how secret it was kept. Yeah. You are so wise, Gandalf. What, what <laughs> the name is it? <laughs> he called him Gandalf. He's being nice. See, this is why they don't like us in Harrison. We think everything funny. Of the <laughs> Grand Master in Zinc. I can't. You can't say his name. He shall not, not be named. No, I'm not scared of him. He's an old grandfather retired, <laughs> like me. I mean, he's- But you are good he, and he, he is bad. Things. What is his name, Gandalf? I can't tell you. Clearly some dark magic must happen when you say this man's name. But from our first night, we'd found out some very interesting information, which were helping me build an opinion on Harrison, Arkansas. What I'm thinking so far is everyone who I've spoken to. This is why I like Nico, Nico, Nico. Nico? This is why I like Mr. O. Because he puts a lot of thought and effort behind him. He's not like me just reacting to other people's stuff. Sorry. <laughs> but he puts a lot of effort behind this. It's tough. I like it, man. And then the, whoever's editing this is just a great editor. He's almost top tier like me. I consider myself one of the best editors on the platform, so seems proper nice and welcoming. They're telling me that the people in this town aren't racist, but it's just one area that just so happens to be very racist. And there just so happens to be a mystery leader who is like the most racist man in the world, it seems. So like, I feel like we should dig into that a little bit, but we're also being warned away. I don't know if we're gonna end up risking our lives for YouTube. We'll find out. Again. Again. Day two. This was my opportunity to explore the town. James, I'm Shush. Say that one more time. Shush. <laughs> but the same things. I can't say your regular name, so. Don't. Carried on getting repeated. The racism's honestly out towards Zinc. That's yeah. what I keep hearing. It's Zinc. Uh, because that's where the retired Grand Wizard of the KKK is. Interesting. The Grand but Wizard. He, honestly, a lot of people don't care for him in Harrison. You know, 
know, we're not racist, you know, most people, you can go down to almost any store and most of them aren't racist in the least bit. So it's actually sad that you guys have now been given this reputation yeah. because of the Grand Wizard. Yeah, just because he lives near us. Oh my gosh, it's there. Look at it. It's not racist to love people. Whiteprideradio.com. Cold. You know what's interesting? The fact they changed it. They changed this. Whiteprideradio.com. Cold. And um, it's not racist on. <laughs> you know what's interesting? The fact they changed it. They changed this sign to make it more uh, friendly. They've modernized it. Now the billboard said Harris. Is that really a radio station? Ozark Strong. This is where Ozark was shot. I knew it. And strong, but not a single person I'd spoken to seemed to endorse it. But that definitely doesn't mean that racism isn't here. It just means I haven't seen it yet. Could do with some representation. So I went into the town center with the hope that racism would reveal itself. I went to get some food. I met a delightful friend group. And to be honest, the craziest thing I'd seen wasn't even racist. It was just something that shocked my English mind. To make it look like I'm talking to the camera, I just can't believe it right now because right behind us, there's a kid with a gun. Oh yeah, man, that's the South. The open carries everywhere, man. This is not, this is not, America is not to be played with when it comes to these, this shit, Florida is like that too. Don't get it screwed up, man. Anywhere in Florida, you can walk into a pawn shop or buy an assault rifle with no, with no, like, firearm card, nothing. Give it to you straight up. Tough. How the hell does a kid get a gun? At least where I am in Florida. But don't worry, not all kids were shooting guns. Some were shooting hoops. Basketball going on. Who's the best basketball player here? Me, this guy. That's you? Yeah. What's your name? Blame they call me ringside. What I want to do oh, is confident. I want to take you on. And then if you beat me, I've got $20. Oh yeah, let me hop in then. Let me hop in too. If you miss, you're done for. Oh, <laughs> he's good. I think you're going to fumble the bag. Oh! Oh, that was disrespectful. Guys, I'm a basketball player. I'm a basketball player. Woo. Oh! You think I didn't have that in my locker? Oh, I play basketball. Another one. Oh, you got one? What you got? What you got? Oh, he's fumbled! Sorry, man. Sorry. Yeah? But I won't miss. Oh, God. Best editor on YouTube. You won. Congratulations. The cannon. I appreciate it. I know you're good. I know you're good at this game. Uh, bro, it's chunks from Chunks? I'm chunks, yeah. I'm chunks. If I'm being honest, everyone had accepted me in this town. Even Richard from the Magic game came back to meet up with me. From the videos which you've seen online, it looks like the whole town is racist. They make it look like the whole town is racist. Bro, I haven't seen anything. I've seen people like you. The reason we get this racist reputation from around the world is because we have a KKK leader that actually lives like 15 miles away. So why am I focusing on Harrison when one of the main reasons this town is seen as the most- How, what is the, 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 the intake on tourism right now must be crazy in Harrison. Like y'all are getting like a lot of influencers coming in. Big ones, Gideon, and this guy. Mr. O, like most racist town in America, it's because Duke Dennis was here, wasn't he? The leader of the KKK. I think I've realized that this man has given all the people from this town a bad name. He put up the billboard and he's the one who holds the racist marches. So far, my experience of this town has been positive. There's been people like Richard who actively wanted to help me. He literally agreed to take me wherever I wanted for free, but it was even crazier when I spoke to him and found out the daily struggles he goes through every day. I've had multiple leg surgeries. I need to have a foot surgery, but... Really? Yeah, I've been putting that on the back burner for quite a while. They wanted $3,200 up front. Really? Yeah. And every day you're feeling that? Oh, yes. But Night, Nate, Mr. O is a good guy. He's going to give him that bread, plus a little something. I know it. But it's just part of life for me. This man is literally going through constant pain, yet he still wants to help me. And by no means am I saying that nobody in this town is racist. I just don't think it's fair to say that this is the most racist town, where the main reason they have this reputation is because of a man who doesn't even live there. So I think it's time for me to take my focus on Harrison and declare war on the KKK and who whoever their mystery leader is. What better place to start than Walmart, the place <laughs> featured in that viral video. So I suited up and spoke to the people. 
literally came from the UK just to document this area for on behalf of the BBC. What's with this town and the whole connection to the KKK? And where would they have those meetings? Sometimes they'd be held at the Hotel Seville. The hotel, they'd be in the Hotel Seville? Yeah. So they were having meetings in the hotel which we're in right now. So that's got like racist links. Oh my gosh, the hotel was staying in as a racist hotel. It's part of the reason why my, my husband and my stepson won't move out here. Yeah, no, I can imagine. So your, your husband's black? Yeah. So you're, you're with it, man. <laughs> you're with the cause. <laughs> <laughs> Fight the power! <laughs> but it was time for me to find out who the wizard was and how I could find him. I was wondering if you could help me. I hear the great leader of the KKK or the grand leader of the KKK is in Zinc. I have the foggiest idea. Can you draw me a map on where we can go to find them? <laughs> so that's just helping me. He's drawing me a map just to find um, well, someone. I'm not drawing you a map because I don't know what you're looking for. Uh, I don't know where it's at or what what. Okay, do you know anyone who would? No. Of, of what? So, um, we're just doing a documentary here for the BBC. Uh -huh. and, and we're trying to find the grand leader of the um, Triple K. Triple K? He has a compound. K Mark. In um, Zinc. In Zinc. And whereabouts is this compound? That part, I don't Zinc know. Road. Zinc, Zinc, Zinc Road. Road. Take the north side. If you, could, if you could just put it put it down, it's just easier for us to follow the map. Thomas Rob. Oh, that's his <laughs> name, Thomas Rob. Thomas Rob. He's actually the, Thomas. the leader out here for KKK. It's supposed to be a big mansion with a big Okay, house. if you okay. can just draw me how the house looks. Other than that, I have no idea. It's a big house, a big slave house with the compound where the cotton used to be, where the pick and you, all right. Yeah. This, honestly, thank you so much. You should be proud of your parents. They've uh -huh. really helped me here today for the cause. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And just like that, the moment we he discovered waited. who the Grand Wizard of the KKK was, an inside man from the KKK called the police on us and they escorted us off the property. Well, we've now left, so... Hi, there's the snitch right over there. The wizard obviously... You know what, I thought normally they would at least give you a fair warning, like, hey, can you leave, like, don't be doing that. But you know, a Walmart in America, for some reason, the police like to take their breaks there very often. Like, back in Chicago, every Walmart that I used to go to, or or the surrounding suburbs, the police were there, like, every time. It's like they got free stuff or something. Free, the, you know those little, like, bakery goods with the hole in the middle? It's like they got those for free there or something. I don't know. He has people here trying to stop us from finding him. But it was too late, because I already had his name. Thomas Robb, leader of the Ku Klux Klan. And something tells me he's not a very nice person. My friend, when the Lord touches your heart. We have the illegal aliens, that's bad enough, but we're bringing millions of so-called legal aliens. My white brothers and sisters, you are a race of warriors and a race of conquerors. I think gay people's abomination. The Ku Klux Klan is an American white supremacist terrorist and hate group, also known as the KKK who have a history of many brutal killings of black people to keep them under their control. Even today, their goal remains white supremacy and a white-ruled America. Mm. Sounds stupid, right? This well, is, This is almost a documentary. This is educational. Not stupid enough because they still have many, many members. So I think someone needs to go down there and make these people look as stupid as they are, and I'll give it my best shot. So it's time for me to track down Thomas Robb to Zinc. There was only one man I wanted to take me there. Is that my favorite man from Arkansas? Richard. Thank you so much, man. Nice to see you again. Yeah, amazing to see you, man. Today, we're going on adventures together. Absolutely. What we do have here, which potentially, hopefully, you can take us to, okay. is a map to Zinc. I was wondering if you could take us there. I'll do my best. Thank you, my friend. The map gave us the key, which has now activated the route. <laughs> so I made myself look presentable, and I headed to the place where everyone said the racists reside. Feeling nervous? If you're confident, I'm confident, man. No, I'm not. <laughs> I've heard a lot of things about zinc, and absolutely none of it was positive. Now this looks like a place called Zinc. Unfortunately, the map only seemed to take us to the town of Zinc. We couldn't see this mansion that had been so beautifully drawn out. But the town population is literally 100, so I was confident we could track him down. But it didn't take- Our trailers, woods, and tractors. Long for us to get attacked. Oh, great. <laughs> great. What's going on? Listen, dogs. Yo. 
what the hell's going on? Listen, calm down, you racist dog. Yeah, that's what I thought. Pussy. I know what he's being right now. He's definitely being racist in dog. Chill, dog. Leave me alone. George is right there. George is so close to him and he's going for me. But luckily, we ended up finding this guy who gave us directions. Hi, my friend. Um, we're, we're just here to interview uh, Thomas Rob. Is the next dirt road to your right? And this took oh, they hope it. us deep into zinc. There was no going back now. No signal here, either. Have you lost signal? Uh, I have. No signal? He quite possibly could get shot or hurt and then try to sue, resulting in a long drawn out court battle. You will lose because this sign will be presented. Yeah, true. And here it is. I think this is that house. Okay, well, I will, knocking I, on a KKK leader's door. I wish you luck. Thank you, Richard. Thank <laughs> you for driving us out here. Oh my gosh. Here we go. I don't think this is pre set up. This is crazy. Oh man, they got the red lawn chairs. Oh man. Hello? What do we do? Do we knock? Oh, it's Confederate. Let's speak to this person. Hello, my friend. Oh, you need to leave. I'll need to leave. I'm, I'm here on behalf of the BBC. Are we not able to have a conversation? Okay, uh, how, how can I give you a call? Can I just get your number just so I can give you a call? I uh, will call you up. Okay, thank you. Was that him? Yeah, that was him. So we're now going to try and do this properly by booking in an interview with him tomorrow and hopefully uh, we can make something work. The only reason he's... No, no cap. If you came on my property like that, I don't care what color you are. That would have been like the same thing, man. Bro, go home. Like, you want an interview, call me up properly. Let's set a price, and then we can get it happening. But like, not randomly. I'm in a bad mood. I, I don't got my, I don't got my, my 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 proper suspenders on. I don't got my proper, you know, checkered shirt. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get it right. an interview with me is because I told him I worked for the BBC. So I'm gonna run with that and say that we're running a positive story on the KKK, and hopefully that tricks them into accepting an interview. Hello, Hello, is this Thomas Rob? Gosh, here we go. You still there? Hello, yes, I'm here. I'd love to get an interview with you. Um, I've come from the UK to speak to you. We're trying to do a story on why the KKK isn't racist. Uh, we basically just want to uh, talk it all over. <laughs> with you, if that's okay. How about coming out here, uh, not to our home, yep. but to the church right next door? You probably know where it's at. Thank you. Thank you yep. so much. Bye. I can't believe it. You know we did the impossible. Oh my gosh. You know what happens when you just say, I'm from the UK, I'm from the BBC. He just thinks this is some important thing. He didn't even think to do any research. Isn't that like, isn't that a Well, whatever, you know, I'm reacting to y'all material, so in the same boat. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just BBC. And I am a BBC. The fact this man has accepted an interview with the BBC with no background check or any need for identification shows his stupid intelligence level. So I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of that. My bad, mate. For years, Thomas Rob has had interviews. And so I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of that. My bad. Is that genuine? All good, homie. For years, Tom oh, they were there together. Okay, they all got their material together. Okay. He's had interviews and has been able to put the KKK's racist views out into the world. And I think it's time for someone to troll this man and make him look like the idiot he is. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we're about to meet up with the leader of the KKK. In the past, when I've spoken to racist people, I always try to avoid confronting them because the moment you confront them, you get no information. We're trying to show what he actually believes. I, I genuinely want to find out, and then we start the trolling. But God, there is no organization more racist than the KKK. So I'm genuinely scared to hear what he's going to say. Focus. Oh. So we're here at the home 
of Thomas Robb and with the KKK. Here we are. Nah. Big up, Tom. Hi, Ma. What do you got on camouflage for? Two, three, four different patterns of camouflage. It's broad daylight. Thank you. Hello. Nice to meet you. You too. Yeah, where, wherever you think is best. I'm about to interview the leader of the KKK and run with the name Imar Nantz. This could go very wrong. Very, <laughs> very wrong. What's your name? Imar. Come on, what's that? Imar. Imar Nantz. What other pieces you've done? Have you, have you heard of the English Defense League in, in the UK? Well, I haven't. Have you heard of the English Defense League? Okay. So you know about the English Defense League? Okay. Yeah, so, so basically the English Defense League, they just basically want to keep England for English. Uh-huh. That's not reasonable. So you did an interview with them? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome um, to the BBC. We're here with Thomas Robb. My name is Thomas Robb. I'm the uh, National Director of the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. I'm here with Imar Norris and... Nons. 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 So I, Imar Nons. 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 <laughs> N-O-N-S. <laughs> Nice. Can you say Nance? Nance? Oh Nons, my god! N O N S. Nance? So Nance? Nance? Yes, perfect. Nance. I'm here with Imar Nance. So now if we, do, we can just do that from the top. I'm Thomas Robb. I'm here with Imar Nance. And he's with BBC. And yep. we're here having an enjoyable conversation about, about my involvement uh, with the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. I'm national director. And welcome here to the Ozarks. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, really appreciate this. This is the highlight of my career. The highlight of your career. Honestly, I'm being, I'm being real. No, it is. This is great. Um, could you just tell us about the KKK? When people hear the, the name KKK, all kinds of images come to their mind. We read in his books that the Klan were organized to subdue and put down black people. The Nonsense. purpose of, we don't view ourselves as being anti-black. We want to preserve our heritage, we want to preserve our culture, we want to preserve who, our, our identity. You want to stay white, there's nothing, there's nothing ra racist about that. Absolutely. It really annoys me when people say um, that the KKK is racist because there's nothing pointing towards the KKK being well, racist at all. How did you start your journey with the uh, Ku Klux Klan? Did you get like assigned? Did they like start you off on like I, quests I, or anything? I, I, was, I was always involved in. I don't care what he's involved in, if I'm honest. I just wanted to move on to the more important questions. Have you seen any of like the other clans out there? I've seen clans like FaZe Clan, Optic Clan. I just think that <laughs> like, no, no one would be a higher percentage level. Than oh that. my God, he said FaZe Clan. Some other clan. But after a while, I thought these guys are idiots. Yeah, I didn't want to connect with these people. Oh man. Oh, man. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Uh, it's me when people say, you know, what do you think of the people who say, <laughs> Would there be someone from FaZe Clan here? So I finally stopped speaking to other, other groups and stuff. I feel that if I would have... Yeah, Clan, Optic Clan, I just think they're okay. idiots. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, one, no one would be a higher prestige level than you. Years ago, I, I used to go and speak for some other clan. But after a while, I thought, these guys are idiots. Yeah, I didn't want to connect with these people. So I finally stopped speaking to other, other groups and stuff. I feel that if I would have joined and pursued a career, scoping. I could have very, yeah. been very successful in those <laughs> careers also. Yeah, they mean well, but they just don't have what it takes to take their clan to the, to the levels of the sure. Ku Klux. Would there be someone from Facebook? <laughs> I don't know. We don't ask. Really. Optic. I don't ask. Yeah. Oh, fair, fair. Church, so, we, don't, we don't discriminate. In this church. Maybe we do. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh yeah, he's laughing. <laughs> Maybe we do because everybody's so, not welcome to our church. I'm sorry. So could I come to this church? No. Okay. No. Makes sense. <laughs> hey, look how I turned. <laughs> no. Absolutely but not. But he's not welcome to our church. <laughs> so could I come to this church? <laughs> no. No. Okay. No. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Fair enough. What do you think of the people who say that you're racist? What do you mean by a racist? Someone who doesn't like black people or has prejudices towards black people. Uh, even those words don't, what do those words mean? I've got prejudice, of course I do. Everybody has prejudice. Sorry, was that a, a dumb question? No, everybody does have prejudices. I agree, like, no, no cap. We all do, I mean, just I, cut it out. I prefer being around white people. I'm sorry, that's the way it is, you know? Oh, and, you, you, no, but like, I'm, I'm like a supporter of you, so, uh, including me, like you prefer being around white people. I'll be your friend, but you're not gonna come over to my house for a barbecue. Oh, you wouldn't invite me? <laughs> no. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, makes sense. That's crazy. A black man's not invited to the barbecue, to the cookout. That's tough. Oh, well, and that's, is that because of color? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I, I'm a 
separatist. I preserve my own people. Yeah. And I, I, I'm not offended by a black person who says, hey, I prefer being around other black, yeah. my black brothers. Fine, I understand that. I prefer being around my family than some strange family. Me personally, as a, as a fan, of, fan of you, I'm not trying to portray all the KKK as racist because I've never seen anything racist by the KKK. It goes back to the idea of what is a racist. If a racist is someone who hates black people and wants to do them harm or something that, then obviously I'm, I, I have no desire to, I have no de desire to see Miss. You can't even think the lie out. Get it out, my boy. Go black child. Yeah. I have no desire for that. I feel, I, I feel, I feel compassion for a, a young black mother whose child is get caught up in the drugs or get shot by a drive-by shooting. I feel as much compassion for them. I, I How do we even get there? I probably feel more compassion for a white child. I have, I just have to say that. I personally, I believe that the black people in this country would be much better off if somebody like me was running things than the liberal crackpots that they got in Washington, D.C. today. Why has there never been like a KKK party? In this country, okay, up until... Wait, if we, if we just look down the lens while, while we say this part. Okay, in this country, up until somewhere in the 1960s, this country was, was a dominant white rule, white, yeah. white power structure, what I'll call that. That's not the way it is today. Yeah, things have changed. Right. Right? The only yeah. way is going to go back. In my mind, maybe I'm wrong. I'll always, always say, well, maybe I'm wrong. But it, it, until white people re once again control this nation, black people will be unsafe in their own neighborhoods by their own people. From what you've said, I really respect you speak from the heart like this. I actually did some documenting in the UK as well, where there was a group of supporters for the KKK in a town called Clax. And I think that, honestly, you're, <laughs> you're like a Clax guy. If you could shout out the, the people from Clax, the supporters of the KKK in Clax. Is there anybody out there in the UK? UK? Yeah, in the UK in Clax. In the UK, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, yeah. um, England. Howdy. I just know they would have appreciated a shout out. Well, shout out. Shout out to the people <laughs> from Clap. Shout out. Thomas is a Clap guy. <laughs> I don't really know the Clap people, so maybe I'm wrong. No, you are, you are. Okay, well, I'm a Clap guy, all right. Uh, Forgive me, Clap people. <laughs> <laughs> you know that Thomas had called himself Clapped. It was time for me to reveal the ace up my sleeve. We run a group in the UK called the UK Stand with um, the KKK. We made a post of me and you together, and we mentioned if anyone wanted to shout out, maybe we pick three names and you just shout them out. They're, they are your supporters. Make sure you got them. Thank you all the people from the UK Stand with KKK. Right here we have Thomas, and he's going to be shouting your names out. I, I, I map. You say? I map, you say? I don't know my I map, you say, but I map, you say, says so can't wait. I guess for the interview, so, well. Oh, my God. Great. And then we got a... He's so upbeat. He loves it. He loves what's going on. BL. BL? BL? M. BLM? Yeah. See, he's the best, I guess. Shout out, BLM. <laughs> I'm a shout out to you, and then... So shout out to who? To BLM? Yeah. And then he loves him. I don't know, but that guy's not gay. So let's wait. <laughs> then Sue Kabatic. Sue. Yeah. Sue yeah. Uh -huh. Yak Sukamitic? <laughs> yeah, I pronounced that right. It says, oh him. my so, god. Y'all great. Oh, I, oh, this is some of the best stuff I've ever seen like, in my like, life. I like yeah, all, the, like, all these people are, and that's the oh, man. man. We have a lot of supporters well, in the UK. Thank you so uh, much for shouting them out. Right. Let's round it up properly because um, we'll look down the lens. Introduce your name properly. So just say, I'm Thomas, member of the KKK. I've enjoyed. Um, this BBC. I'm Thomas Raub. I've been a, a, a national director for the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan, and I enjoyed yeah. this uh, interview with BBC. with the BBC. No, it's this BBC. So it's just I've enjoyed this BBC. It's a BBC interview. I've enjoyed this BBC. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I know it's been a, a proper deep interview. I appreciate you taking it to BBC. So am I the first mixed race person in this church? No. We've had reporters from every European nation. We have BBC uh, here before, a number of years yeah. ago. Oh, so this is the second time you've had a second, BBC. Second, third time, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> we've, done, we've, done, we've done a lot of, done a lot of interviews here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> any any oh, other this one? Oh, my God. It is, this one. As deep as this one. Oh, yeah, sure. You've had a proper oh. deep sure. experience with yeah. the BBC? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank right. you so much. Thomas, Rob, you have no idea what you've just done. I'm not the BBC. I'm just a random oh. man making a mockery of everything you stand for. I won't touch that just in case. I disintegrate. Okay, BBC, here we have the flag of the Ku Klux Klan. No, this is the Knights Party. Huh? It's not a Klan flag. This is oh, flag. okay, of the Knights Party. So no. they're different. Correct. 
Okay. Okay, BBC. Here we have the flag. Oh, wait, wait, we, we haven't got the shot yet. And here we have the flag of the night's party. Honestly, man, you've, you've, you've really smashed this interview. We need to wrap it up, though. You've, you've got stuff to do. Thomas Robb, leader of the Ku Klux Klan, has taken this BBC. Thank you very much. Welcome. No Such a deep interview. All right. Welcome. Appreciate it. All right. Thomas Robb had taken my BBC and was now oh struggling to walk. Oh my God. I had one final question to ask him. I did mean to ask about the, the hoods in the Do you ever wear those hoods? The pointy things? We have them for a cross lighting set of ceremony. Okay, all right. And just as a, like a side question, have, have you ever like made love with the hood on? Yeah? Okay, well, fair enough. That's a yes, clearly. Let's just get this pick and, uh, and we'll go. At this moment, Thomas Robb had realized he had been swindled. And he was burning. So never made love with the hood? He didn't, didn't say no, Thomas. Oh, you, great. You, you degraded yourself now. The interview's over. I'm sorry. You get the car, you made Okay, perfect. Appreciate you, Thomas. Thanks for the interview. Just got BBC'd. They got a scope on you somewhere. Better be calm down. We tricked this man into thinking we were the BBC, and now this man will never take an interview ever again. He will have trust issues for the rest of his life. Wish the fellows and clap a good time. Yeah, I know. Well, you're all a bunch of clap guys here. Come down to Clapton in the UK, because anyone from the KKK is clapped. <laughs> Cloud guy, big up. <laughs> big up, man. Respect. <laughs> <laughs> what we have done today. This is what America is all about, really. And I, I appreciate that you came from the UK to, to do this. This is what everyone always. This, is, this should be played in classrooms all around the world. Slash country. This is great. We got the leader of the KKK, arguably the most racist man in the world. To shout out BLM. <laughs> <laughs> you know how funny that is? And he has no idea. Absolutely no clue. He said that I disgraced myself by asking him if he makes love with his hood on. Like he hasn't disgraced himself with his words. <laughs> but listen, my friends, we do this number one because it's right, but also because we wanted to get to the bottom of the story. Harrison, Arkansas is not a racist town. However, it is home to the most racist person. But the heart of Arkansas has incredible people like Richard, and that's what I was gonna take away. I'm not gonna say there's no racism in Harrison because of course there is. People have obviously experienced racism there and it definitely exists. But to label the entire town as racist is just not true and it's not fair on many of the great people who live in Harrison, including the ones that I met. Like Richard, the man who literally helped me prank the KKK, one of the world's most feared. Don't say that because they're gonna get on Richard. Uh, they're gonna get on Richard booty. Leave, leave Richard out of this. Richard got to move at this. Organizations, and he did this after knowing me for 48 hours. That's ridiculous. And there was one final thing I needed to talk to him about. All right, Richard, I have a confession to make. I don't actually work for the BBC. I, I kind of figured that a few days ago. At what point did you realize? Your education. You said you only went to uni for one day. So at that point you realized. I just didn't have the guts to then tell you I didn't work for the BBC. But honestly, you have made this whole journey. Couldn't have done any of this without you. And I feel like you are the best. Honestly, this is the moment I've been waiting for. This is these heartfelt moments. They always get me, man. That always make me want to do something great. That's representation of Harrison, Arkansas. I was really sorry to hear about uh, what you were telling me about the other day with your like foot and the, and the surgery and all of that. I wanted, just because you're a great guy, to, to help you out. So what I've done, I've got $1,000, and then I want to send you a further $4,000 later on as well. Thank you. Just because you're a great guy, Richard. Honestly, you are an amazing guy. Thank you. So um, hopefully you can get your foot surgery. You're a living legend, my friend. Thank you. It, it really is, low key, Richard. And Richard got a lid here, we don't. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart, thank you. This is one of the nicest things that anyone's done for me in a long time. And uh, it's been a while, dude. It's been a while, listen, man. It's all right, man, let it out, Rich. I've, any, any way I can help you, 
Uh, I'm glad. Look, give me a hug, man. Give me a hug. Thank you, man. Honestly, it wouldn't have been the same without you. But, yeah. I really appreciate you, man. And honestly, just your outlook on life, everything, it's just really, really admirable. Up, well, my friends, we came to this random state in America and met some great people. But I can safely say I will never be returning here again as the KKK now have a direct reason <laughs> to target me. So my friends of the NDL, yeah. we have defeated another enemy. Oh, no way, it's Daniel from earlier, from the when we gave Please us a little... Target me. So my friends of the NDL, we have defeated... When he gave us a little to the hotel, he came all the way to see us all. Defeated oh, another yeah. enemy. Please like and subscribe this is the greatest I, I don't know what more I could it's, I'm gonna post this subscribe like all of that TLO leave a like comment subscribe turn on your post notification this man is one of the greatest to ever do it bruh salute